Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Gents Scents. Hope you're well. It's heating up, it's getting hot. So let's talk about some cheap clone fragrances that smell amazing when it's hot outside. And I've got some new ones that I picked up here that I've never talked about on the channel before. All of these are gonna be linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there. And before we hop into the first fragrance, here are some codes you can use across a bunch of different websites to save yourself some money. So if you shop at any of these sites, use those codes, save some cheddar. And there's a new code on fragflex.com, it's GS10. So GS11 for 11% off, that is good on your first order. Anything past that, you're gonna to have to use GS10, that's $10 off any order over 99 bucks. So keep that in mind, there's GS10 and 11. All right, let's get it kicked off with this one. It is Victorioso Legend, which also has a new name now, a Victorioso Myth. So if you see this as Victorioso Legend, that's what I'm talking about. If you see this as Victorioso Myth, that's also what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is Maison Alhambra, which is of course part of Latafo. Why the different names? Well, because this is a clone of Invictus Legend. Victorioso Legend, Invictus Legend, they had to change the name. And actually this is something that we've seen happening a little bit more often. Uh, some of these clone houses getting a little too close to both the name and the presentation style for the fragrances that they're cloning. And then they have to go in and change things up. Uh, one of the biggest things with that is the uh, Tom Ford private blend fragrances. So there have been a lot of name changes with those, and I think there's also going to be presentation changes as well as time goes on. So that's an ongoing thing. And uh, yeah, the same thing happened with Victorioso uh, Victory. Great name, by the way. Yeah, this one, Victorioso Victory. <laughs> because one bit of victory is not enough. You got to have two just uh, with a different type of saying it. Victorioso Victory Victorium. But uh, this is a clone of Invictus victory and they changed the name on this one too so anyway back to this this is a clone as i said of invictus legend and uh, it is a darn good one really 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 cheap from joma shop uh, that's where i picked mine up about 25 dollars is what it goes for now i think that when i bought it it was actually like 19.99 so yeah but this is absurdly good very 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 close to <coughs> invictus legend it smells great but it doesn't taste great. I don't know what I was expecting there. I think I was expecting it to dissipate quicker. Mmm, delicious. And there's not too much to say about this one other than it is almost spot on to Invictus Legend. Great performance, big attention grabber. It has that sweetness that Invictus Legend has also, so keep that in mind. But I do think that Legend, uh, for my own taste, is much better than the original Invictus, and during summer, it works really well. Just don't go insanely heavy if you're gonna go somewhere where it's really hot outside, you know, it can come across cloying if it's a bit too much. Next up is one that you can't readily find right now in the US, but I'm gonna put you onto it. When this becomes available, it's definitely worth checking out. And it has one of the weirdest presentations. It's this, Panache or Panache White from French Avenue slash Fragrance World. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, it looks different. I don't know, it looks like you could pour some tea out of it or maybe like a butter boat or like a, a ship, like a yacht or maybe a starfighter. I don't know, definitely a different look to it. And it does make it a little bit uh, odd when you're trying to spray this. See that? That's a totally natural bottle shape. It feels really natural in the hand. <laughs> it's just perfect, it's like, ugh. So yeah, presentation style definitely a bit different, but holy crap, this stuff smells amazing. Like seriously, seriously. It is a clone of Louis Vuitton's Pacific Chill. And it's just got such an attention grabbing, fruity opening, good amount of mint in there, very fresh, very sweet. And this stuff smells amazing the second you spray it on. You can spray it, immediately go in for a sniff, and there's nothing off-putting. You don't have to let it settle, none of that. Not one of those ones where you say, oh, the opening is a little rough, it's not that close, but then as it dries down, it gets a lot better. No, second you spray it on, it's great. Actually, the whole presentation on this is pretty sweet too. The box looks nice. Uh, it just has a very unique shape to it. Like I said, in the US right now, not easy to find that stuff. Uh, you'll find it listed at a couple websites for like the note breakdowns and everything like that. 
uh, but it is gonna make its way over here eventually like they all do. And when it does, if you want that cheap Pacific chill, get that. Then we got Latafa Liam Blue. And depending on where you look, sometimes this is listed as Liam Blue Shine. The original Liam or Liam Gray, that one is a Grease Arnaud by BDK. Not that you would get those confused, but just in case, uh, now you know. So this one has bergamot, rosemary, some marine notes to it. It has a similarity to Aqua de Jo Profundo. And we're talking the original Aqua de Jo Profundo, not the new Aqua de Jo Profundo or the new Aqua de Jo Profundo Parfum. Yeah, Aqua de Jo just doing its thing. Quality on this one, very nice, super fresh. That little bit of green that it has, just like Profundo, I think smells fantastic. And this is another ultra cheap one. You can find this for like 24, 25 bucks. And the presentation, once again, really nice. Actually comes with a pretty good sized box, like about like this size that kind of opens up. Let's see, what next? Let's do this one, our Moth Magnificent Blue. This is intriguing to me because uh, it never really caught on at all. It's about $22, so again, super cheap. And it's a clone of uh, a fragrance or a fragrance line that is enormously popular. Sauvage. So you got a $22 Sauvage clone from Armoff that <laughs> never caught on. One reason might be because, yes, it's a clone of Sauvage, but which Sauvage? Well, very cool spray. Remember that one? Yeah, which I guess makes sense a little bit in terms of the bottle because it's like a, a cylinder and very cool spray was as well. But this doesn't have an aerosol type vibe. It's just got a normal atomizer. Why'd I do that? And very cool spray, as you may be aware of. Uh, nah, not the best selling Sauvage. No, that one basically got walked to the edge of the cliff and uh, they were like, hey, a very cool spray. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, that drop there is pretty high up, huh? You should get closer. Get closer. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, very cool spray. That's essentially what happened. But very cool spray by the essence of what it was, a fresher, pure Sauvage, better suited for summertime for a lot of people than the original because your Sauvage Eau de Toilette is pretty strong. It's got a big performance, lasts a long time, projects heavily. And if you spray that on really uh, intensely in the middle of summer, uh, that might not be the best thing for people around you or yourself. And so in those situations, a fresher Sauvage would be really appealing to a lot of people because of course Dior Sauvage, the top selling men's fragrance in the world, one of the big reasons for that is because people love it. They're drawn to it, they compliment it, it boosts people's confidence, you know. And this gives you very cool spray on a very low budget. Again, about 22 bucks. And just for scientific purposes, looking up very cool spray right now, what it's going for on eBay. And I'm not saying this is what they're selling for, but this is what people are asking. $571 for a bottle. Oh, this one's a much better deal. $300. $481, $329, $399. Yeah, it's going for a lot. Actually, as of this video, that $300 bottle is the cheapest one on eBay. Yeah, which would you rather do? A $22 clone or a $300 bottle? After that, Rasasi once again with its essential. I love it, I love it a lot. This is a clone of Lome Ultime from Yves Saint Laurent, which is a fragrance that I really, really, really liked until it was discontinued. Well, and I still like it. It's just discontinued. Super pleasant opening, ginger and citrus. Grabs your attention right away as it dries down. You get a little bit of rose that comes out, a very fresh rose. It's one that's perfect for springtime also. I mean, spring and summer, just love this stuff. This is one uh, that you wanna pick up from discounters and right around $30 or so. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more, uh, but be aware that that's kind of where you wanna target, okay, because this one has sold out sometimes at discounters, and when it does, other places will have it. But they'll be charging you like twice as much, two and a half times as much. Don't do that. I uh, don't pay that much. This is one that I think it smells great. Don't get me wrong. But um, if it's consistently available for like 25, 30, then why would you pay 60 or 70? So it's essential. That is Lomo team. And again, I love the stuff. Next up, we have Imperium 
from Fragrance World. Uh, this has been out for a while actually, but I didn't pick it up until recently. I placed a big order on Joma Shop and in, in typical Joma Shop fashion, it came divided up in like three packages, which that's just how they roll. Essentially, uh, at Joma Shop, when you buy something, it, it says on there, like in stock now or ships in three to five days or two weeks or whatever. And so when you make a purchase, like I'll buy a bunch of stuff at once, right? Like I'll buy seven, eight things or something like that. Uh, whatever's in stock then will go out. And then as the fragrances that you bought come into stock, they'll ship those out. Which that's better, I feel like, for the customer because if they just wait until everything's in stock, you might buy some stuff that they have in stock that they could send to you, but because one thing you bought isn't in stock for three weeks, you just don't get it until then. But yeah, it was that kind of deal. It came in like three packages and uh, this was actually the, uh, the last thing to show up. So like I said, it's been out for a while. I've known about it for a while. I just, you know, haven't gotten around to buying it until now. And uh, it's really, really, really good actually. You can tell what it is. I mean, it's, it's looking at it. Imperium, yeah, with the whole, blue bottle and everything. It's Elysium from uh, Roger Parfum, of course. And I have the uh, the Apex alternative already. I've had that one, which is right, <laughs> right here. Vertex, which is actually a mirror, which is Paris Corner. So that's pretty nuts, isn't it? Just seeing those two side by side, it's like, oh, those have gotta be the same brand. They're not. But yeah, anyway, back to this Imperium. This is Elysium. And uh, I sprayed this on yesterday, I wore it yesterday, and I was really, really, really surprised at how good it is. A lot of citrus in there, a little bit of aromatics, just like Elysium, and it smells great off the skin. It really does. Sometimes with uh, clone fragrances, fragrances in general, you'll spray them on the strip and it'll come across amazing. Like, oh, it's so lively, so brisk, so bright, whatever, talking about the citrus. Then you'll spray it on skin and it'll be very flat. And just kind of like, Ugh. That doesn't happen with this one. It comes across very close to Elysium for a super cheap price. And you even get a little bottle dupe as well. Look at that, nice little fake crystals, yay. So if you want Elysium on a bargain basement price, get Imperium. This is one of my, uh, nicer surprises as far as clone fragrances goes uh, that I've had here recently. Also a nice bit of classiness to it, just like Elysium. I mean, it gets as close as you could possibly get at the price point, you know, in comparison. It's like 10% the cost of the Rosa. After that, we have a Solario fragrance, Oros. This is uh, Dumont Paris. And this one, when you spray it on, it's gonna be super familiar for most of you out there. You're gonna get hit with that Aventus style of scent, uh, but it's actually closer to Hasabat. And while Aventus or Hasabat, you know, you may not think of as a summertime fragrance, it's more like a any time of the year fragrance, I think that it works extremely well uh, when it's hotter out. Great fruity freshness off the top, the quality really nice as well. These Solario fragrances, all the ones that I've tried have had top-notch quality. They are a little bit costlier than some of the other clone fragrances, like you know, the Armoff here is like 22, for example. The Latafa is like 25. Uh, these ones will creep up around that $50 range. So these are more expensive. When you smell them, you can tell. Like when you, you know, get a whiff of this, it just has that depth, it has that complexity to it where it doesn't come across like a corner got, you know, cut here or there. So obviously smelling like Hasavat, amazing versatility wear this stuff anywhere, anytime. People are gonna love it. And it's uh, one of the better ones out there. Let's go mad cheap with Theorem Rubraca. And that is Bulgari's Tiger. Rubraca. Baraka from Mortal Freaking Combat. This one can fluctuate a little bit in pricing. I said it was super cheap and typically it is. Uh, oh, man. Ah, there we go. I'm not a marksman with these atomizers sometimes. Hand smells good though. Uh, anyway, before I, I got sidetracked there, uh, you can find this a lot of times at discounters, mega cheap, but the price fluctuates a little bit. So sometimes it can creep up around 30 bucks, uh, but still that's, that's basically like the high point for this one as far as price. Wonderful citrus fragrance, just like Bulgari Tiger quality, fantastic. That stuff smells absolutely amazing. Another alternative, uh, Tarathi Blue from Avnon. 
That one's also really popular, smells similar to Tiger, which means it smells similar to this. Then we have Noble Red. <laughs> this is, uh, this is Fragrance World. And this one cracks me up because it is a clone of Nitro Red. And Nitro Red is a clone, but it's a, it's a hybrid clone, like a, a twist, a clone with a twist. Kind of a Baccarat Rouge 540 meets Invictus. And they have a tryst, and then they have a little baby. That's, that's uh, Nitro Red, and that's also Noble Red. I feel like I have to do this, just. You see, right? Like I, I probably, I, I don't really need to, it's just, it's obvious. In the air, they're, they're pretty much the same. I mean, nobody's gonna come up to you and be like, <laughs> that's Noble Red, isn't it? That's not the Nitro, yeah. I knew, I could tell. That 0.3% difference, yeah, easy for me. Nah, it's, it's, it's the same. So uh, the issue here is Nitro Red, very popular. Like that has blown up in popularity, but that also means that it sells out and then there's none of it. So if that is the case, Noble Red. If Noble Red and Nitro Red are sold out, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe somebody else comes out with a red fragrance. Uh, with their choice of word beforehand. Whatever red. Oh, I showed the next thing. Here it is, the last one. Kahila. This is uh, Paris Corner. And in spite of how it looks, uh, this is this is Lebeau. I say that because anybody who sees this bottle with the horse cap, uh, they're probably not thinking, oh, that's a clone of the fragrance with the male torso with the leaf over his junk. I mean, yeah, and also the name, Kahila. But to be fair, they're not gonna have to change uh, their stuff around. Hmm, you had to change your name? Who knows, maybe you have to change your color of the bottle in the future, I don't know. But um, they don't have to change anything. Good sweetness to this one off the top, really solid amount, but in a very pleasing way. And LeBeau is a fragrance, you know, it seems a little difficult to exactly nail it down when it comes to clones. Because there are a few different LeBeau clones out there and I don't know that any of them absolutely nail it to the point where it's like, oh, that's that's it. That's, that's pretty much, that's the fragrance. There's always like a change, a twist, something done. But this one comes pretty close. Like it gets that, the sweetness, like I talked about that coconut in here as well. And it's a little bit more on the pricey side of the things that we talked about here today. A lot of places have this around, you know, 45 or so, something like that. But I do think that as far as the lineup, the current lineup of LeBeau alternatives out there, that's gonna be one of your best bets. And uh, I do love Mason LeBeau nowadays, I gotta say. So there we go, guys. There are 10 fragrance clone choices for you. Have you smelling amazing this summer. And again, this one, I know that as of when I'm filming this video, uh, like I said, it's kind of a pain in the butt to try to find it in the US, but when that drops, you gotta check it out. The second that stuff hits a tester strip, hits your skin, amazing. Thank you guys, stay safe out there, see you tomorrow.